Sergei Magnitsky's name has become synonymous with injustice and corruption in Russia. It also threatens to inflame international tensions. The lawyer and father of two claimed he was the victim of a vendetta. Prior to his death in prison, he uncovered an alleged fraud which robbed the Russian taxpayer of 150 million pounds. He identified interior ministry officials as the culprits. Shortly after, he was arrested and imprisoned on tax evasion charges brought by those same police officers he had testified against. Was being abused in prison. A campaign reconstruction alleges that his final days were spent in agonizing pain after allegedly being tortured, denied medical attention and the right to see his family. Speaking on a Russian chat show, his mother told of the pain felt by his sons. My grandson says, who was my father? I say, he was a hero. He asks, is it good to be a hero? Maybe if my father wasn't a hero, he would be with me now. He was held in a place similar to this for 12 months without trial. Since Magnitsky's death, President Medvedev has decreed that pre-trial detention for those charged with economic crimes should end. Once implemented, that should mean the release of 100,000 businessmen and women. Medvedev also fired a number of senior prison service officials, but for Magnitsky's friends and colleagues, that doesn't go far enough. They recently published a hard-hitting online video claiming that police investigators spent well beyond the means of their meagre salaries or following the fraud highlighted by Magnitsky, who was representing Hermitage Capital. Russia deserves better. Its founder, Bill Browder, says he died because he believed in the rule of law in Russia. They would deny him food at various times, deny him water. They put him in cells with feces on the floor. They put him in cells without any window panes so that when the Moscow winters, the cold air came in. They took away his ability to boil water so he had to drink the poisonous prison water. After, after months of this, even the, the most robust person uh, would lose their health. He lost 40 pounds and went into uh, and developed pancreatitis and gallstones and they refused him medical attention. Campaigners say his case has thrown a spotlight on Russia's murky legal system. This is a moment of truth. There is everything in this case. Corruption of law enforcers, the penal system, political corruption because he was prosecuted in revenge, not for a real crime. How it will end will reveal a lot. Hillary Clinton has urged Russia to seek justice and there are calls for those allegedly involved in Mr. Magnitsky's death to be barred from the U.S. It's clearly a case that won't go away, and while Russia continues to try and forge more positive relations with Britain and America, many argue that cannot happen at the expense of all else. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Moscow.